All right, everyone, we are back in action. I actually have jeans on that I uh, was trying to dry this morning and well, it didn't, didn't dry in time. So I drove here with wet jeans, but that's not gonna stop me. It is pallet day. It's been a long time since pallet day. They just texted me last night. I don't understand why, but they did. And we went all the way to New Jersey and there's a baseball out here. Oh, one of those baseballs. We call these all-weather baseballs. I'll put that right there, because that's price of baseball. Maybe they throw on their lunch break. Uh, but yeah, it's pallet day. It's auction day. Let's hopefully fill the van with a bunch of bins, boxes, whatever it might be. I don't know how many are here, but let's make it a fun one. Let's do it. There's a lot in here. So what a better time to be alive than to start diving in and see what we bought at the uh, abandoned storage pallet auction. You guys are new around here, been doing a bunch of these. Um, they've now switched over uh, auctioneers a couple times and uh, it's pretty much just stuff people store and they sell it by the pallet, similar to a storage auction that like you buy like a room. This is just stuff that they put on a pallet. It's in a big warehouse and uh, we'll see what people stored. I know usually with these videos, you really don't want to start off with a dud because uh, it doesn't keep you guys attention. Uh, but I know I have to get through these blue bins first. These blue bins seem to be very dirty. Um, there's like broken stuff in it. The stuff is also pretty dirty, but we're gonna go into it because that's the first thing that we got. So yeah, these... Uh, these pallet auctions are very, very similar to buying a bin and storage unit. And this bin is extremely heavy. So yes, this is stuff people store in storage and they pay monthly. I don't know why somebody would store this, but I'm not the judge of what other people do. I know I'm not showing you every single thing in this box. As you guys see, I have literally an entire van load of stuff. So I'm not really seeing much. It looks like cookware. Got a bunch of spoons. All sorts of bowls and cups. I see a pink one down there that's kind of intriguing me, but I don't think we're going to get to that. It's all the way buried down there. Um, so this is going to be the first bin, and it's very quick. If I find anything, and this is the big thing of my channel, is I don't just make one video once a week and that's it. I come back to videos like this. So uh, if you're curious about something or if I find something in this, I definitely let you guys know in future videos. So stay tuned. We'll jump into the next one. All right. So open up this bin. Thanks. It's a very moldy smell. So that's all DVDs. What's in this thing? There might be something in there. Open up that. Oh, this whole thing is all DVDs. There's a lot of DVDs in here. Wow. Some of them are bootleg DVDs, which I just throw out. The other ones. Might be something else in there. Yeah, like this is like really, really dirty. Most of the time, these pal things are not like that. Um, so we're going to jump in. We're probably going to skip this. I want to see what's in here. Uh, but we'll jump into some of these boxes. This is unusual. Oddball stationary still. volumes in this guy. Letter opener. Just 
couple letter openers. Nothing too crazy in this one. What the heck is this thing? I don't know. Alright, I'm thinking I'm going to knock out that bag in this box here. So let's do the box first. I always liked when I go to these sales and the big thing with these pallet auctions is a lot of it's still sealed up ideally. You know, whenever you buy a storage net, a lot of people say, oh yeah, somebody already looked through it and did all this and all that. Heard the same thing a million times, you know. Um, it's kind of what everyone just is thinking. This one looks like it was still taped good. I have no idea what's in there. Ah. The shoe box. Sandal box and shoe box. Heck are these? Running system shoes. And all just shoes. Shoes and slides. Well, I guess if you need them, you need them. I've mentioned a million times what I do is I usually take out the sneakers. Those always sell. The high heels are really tough, so I donate those. Um, these flats, like this, that's kind of hard to sell. I don't know about these slippers. They might. I know they're a little worn. Now like has no grip. I can donate the rest of these, but I'll try selling those. A couple bucks back. Add to the sluice fund. I'll knock. Oh, I said I was going to go through that, that one bag. Maybe I'll do this box. It's kind of like we're working ourselves that way. Also, I don't know what this is. It feels like it has wheels inside. I'm thinking, I, I have no idea. It might be like a rolling rack. I thought for a second it might be a skateboard, but I don't I don't think so exactly. Let's see, it's, it's a very nice bag. Looks like this is all wand lingerie. That's like all underwear. That's one thing you can't sell on eBay is used underwear. Fun fact if you didn't know that. Holy smokes, there's a lot of it. There's some towels. So just close. I will go through some more in depth off camera, but I mean, can I look at some bottoms at one time? You know, in case there's like gold at the bottom. And I would never ever just like take this and donate it or throw it out just like that. I would go through every single part. Uh, but yeah, this is box. This could just be like one item, or it can be a bunch of items. Sometimes like they put lampshades in these big boxes. Sometimes they're absolutely filled with stuff. Oh, I don't think it's a lampshade. Uh, what in the world? What is this? A foldable reacher. Oh, it's like one of those grabbers that can fold up. So it's like a grabber, but it's really probably called a reacher, not a grabber, and it folds up. So there you go. One of those. Never seen one that's that professional. 2019. This looks so like. It's probably good to donate stuff. That might need to get thrown out. Anything at the bottom. Shower chair. Still in the box. It's amazing. It's kind of like buying a grill. Most of the times when I go and see grills, you think they're actually... See, let's see there's nothing hiding at the bottom. Most of the time, they actually come in a cardboard box. Huh. Don't want to lose that. Actually, a decent lot there. Yeah, you can get. Oh, they had toilet seat. Toilet seat. Huh. Yeah, maybe I can pick up maybe twenty or thirty bucks out of all this. So this is the item. I don't know what's in here. Couldn't get the zipper open either. Oh, what 
it can be. I thought I, I thought all different things. Skateboard, rolling cart. Maybe it's a rolling iron board? Ugh. What is this? It's made in China. It's a nail dust collector. I'm about to throw up. A nail dust collector? I, I don't know because I never like went to get my nails done so I guess maybe that's one of the things like you sit there and they do and they just collect I don't know that this is where being myself does not help you out at all that's grimy like why would you not clean that I don't know I can honestly say it's probably the first time I ever found one of these in a storage unit it's first for everything so this is one of the bins that were up front. Probably even open on the other side, so that way you guys can see it. Sun is kind of not helping me out right now, but kind of is. So looks like it's gonna be all closed. Ooh, that might be a Kuji. Ooh. Ooh, this looks like it is. Holy smokes, I think it is. Oh wow. No, is this stuff still hot? Like five years ago, it was like really hot. I thought that was. This looks like it is. What is that like a stain or is that? Is that staining? Can you guys let me know? I don't know if that's just the way it's supposed to look. I don't think so. It's really. Oh. I feel like this three years ago would have been worth like three hundred dollars a piece. Maybe right, maybe wrong. Old Fila. Brand is this? That's guess. So it might be some decent clothes hidden amongst all these. These do need to be washed. I can smell them. They do not smell the best mentioned in my last storage video how the clothes had no scent whatsoever which is extremely rare we're now back to smelly clothes See anything too much of importance in there? What is this? It's a pillowcase. Sort of eagles peril. Yeah, that really has an, an odor to it. This is going to be looked at another time. I'm not really seeing anything popping out right now. Yeah, like I, I just sometimes I'm befuddled all right since i'm not a complete expert in this i'm probably not even pronouncing it right here's just some current listings um i don't know which the one this one up top has uh well it says it's sponsored um i clicked on it and there you go it says three watt well you can't really read that it says three watch in the last 24 hours this one looks very identical to the one that i just found it has 209 dollars best offer surprise a lot of watchers um a handful of our ones one has one bid for a hundred dollars um another one hundred dollars so uh between the two once i clean them i think they will uh they'll do all right as long as they're like the authentic one one eight hundred bucks what the heck eight hundred dollars i saw another one nine hundred dollars so there might be more at the bottom of that but that will be saved for another time it seems like the ones that are actually a kuji brand are the ones that bring money there are a handful of other ones like cotton traders and um the other names um tundra canada uh they're a kind of knockoff of it that sell for about 40 bucks so not a bad find there things you think that are just aren't worth anything are worth something and other things are it's just crazy how it works
All right, so here we have another sealed box. Um, I did buy a pallet with all my kids' toys on it. It had like four or five of those big boxes on it. I have no idea where they're, they're buried on the other side. So um, stay tuned for future videos. Um, I'm not going to go through every single box on this video itself. Um, I could, but we'll be here forever. I think you guys would probably get bored about halfway through. So we'll see what's in this thing. Still sealed. Just the most random stuff ever. Happy New Year hat. Oh wow, look at all that jewelry. So much oddball stuff. Want to see if any of that silver or gold it has that aluminum look, which silver sometimes does. The other stuff, I don't know if that's actually gold. Put that right there. It's a whole bunch of pins. Those are seagulls. Look at all of this. I don't think that's. Imagine this thing was gold. Oh, I would cry if this is gold. I don't think it is. No, I see like rust on it. Probably even sticks to this magnet. Wherever the heck my, my magnet's usually right there. I lost my magnet. Got myself a magnet. It doesn't. Oh, the end sticks. But that doesn't stick. I don't think that's gold, but we can always test that. Thomas O'Malley. Disney. That might be worth something. Maybe. Made exclusively for the video release of something. Of something. What's in here? Ooh. More jewelry. You got a penny also. Not an expert in jewelry. I know what gold looks like. I know what silver looks like. But in terms of actually valuable jewelry. You're asking the wrong guy. Oh, those are all. Holy smokes. Those are all CDs or DVDs. Huh? Oh, Marvin Gaye live in Belgium. A lot of these look like they're burnt, so who knows what's even on there. Jeez. And I don't know about any of those, but there might be something in there. This looks like it's just DVDs and stuff, but I'll take the jewelry out and look at those and see if there's any gold or silver. Like this kind of looks like silver. But that's for another time. And I don't know if that guy's worth anything. Thomas O'Malley. Could be a super rare one. All right, to kind of wrap up this video, hey, look, we have more of these green bins. I'm going to go through the stuff that we have down here. Some green, ooh, we got some sneakers. And some sheets. Whole bunch of sheets. These look like they're brand new. They were $9, wherever they were. Nine bucks. More sheets. And more something or another. There's more sheets down at the bottom. I don't know what these are. Beads of some sort. I don't know if those are... I don't know what they are. Maybe the beads that go on the back of your seat. These are sneakers, obviously. Air Force. Or these are Air Jordans. Wow, oh, that's interesting. They had it stitched. And the stitching goes right through the logo. Hmm. These are also more Jordans. I have no idea what numbers they are. But a handful of sneakers and sheets. I should probably put this back in there. So that is that bin. It's probably going to be more that latches market stuff. 
So far, the best thing is definitely the Kuji sweaters. But, I mean, there's all this stuff. That'll be for another day. These look like photos. That looks like a painting. Uh, either a painting or like a mass produced. Uh, it might be a print. It's got a nice looking frame on that. That's pretty neat, also. 2011. I don't have a clue who that is. La Page du Bois. Signed, I guess, by, I don't know, that might be him or her. Other things are personal photos. I don't know if that thing is, the, the frame, they look like they're mass produced frames, so I kind of like associate the paintings or prints with that, but the prints might be something different. stamp but it has nothing on top almost like it's never been used or have its own logo on it everyone can use index cards brand new fresh and then brass candlesticks a whole bunch of these american dream passports opening doors to your something home hmm 1998 Oh, this could have been something good. This is a uh, business card folder. Say so I went out there to collect business cards. A lot of this stuff is from New Jersey. Who knows if those companies are even in business. I got a whole bunch of stationery, and I'm probably like eight or ten of these post-its. And these things to send certified mail. Oddball box of stationery. I wonder if that's stationery. Now it says kitchen on it. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. That's kitchen, but it is. It's a bowl here. Uh, it's just a bowl, big old chip in it, right there. Anyone need that? Yep, kitchen stuff. All right, the last possible mystery bag for today's video. Let me see what's in here. Uh oh, I see a head. It's a missing head. <laughs> Styrofoam head. It's got a little bit of weight. It has a little stand on it, like a suction cup thing. Ooh, that's scary. Can't see it on camera so well, but it's like half yellow and half white, and then it's like darkish brown down there. It's mummified. I think we got anything else in here? What's in that bag? Don't know. Trying to pull out stuff that might be of a different interest. That is so random. It always throws me for a loop what people store in storage. And this looks like all clothes, and there's a whole bunch of biggies like kitchen towels and middens. Which, fun fact of the day, this is actually Kuhn Recon Switzerland, so that might be actually a good brand. Um, I washed a midden like this in the wash, and it took me like six or seven cycles in the dryer to completely dry it. I was shocked it took that long. So yeah, that's all just going to be like kitchen towels. I'll put it into a box and sell them. 
Um, let's see what this is. Oh, these are boots. These look like a good brand. Kamik. Good tread still left on them. I don't know what the heck this thing is. Oh, is it like a massage gun? That looks like something you use to blow up a tire. This looks like something for blood pressure, maybe. I don't know, it's a jump rope. It's a jump rope. We went through a lot of different emotions right there. Think about what that class will be. Huh. So, I'm going to do more videos on the rest. It's been a very long day, so stay tuned for the next video. Um, there's probably still another, a decent amount, but I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff aside. It gets some rest. Um, lots and lots of fun. I think the best thing probably was the Kuji sweaters. Uh, those I will go ahead and wash. Everything that's been in those blue bins um, really has a weird odor to them. Um, so I will go ahead and wash that in my own wash, but by themselves. Uh, use some detergent and hopefully they don't get shredded because they do look worn. Uh, but hopefully I can still probably get about a hundred bucks at least uh, per sweater. That should probably be the end goal um, with selling those. But it's been fun. Thanks for tagging along, everyone. If you guys want to see more storage unit cleanouts, more adventures just like this, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the like button so I know you guys enjoy this kind of content. And of course, catch you guys next time for the next video. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.